Well, hello there. This is Virtual Chess Noob learning and having fun with chess. Today, I've got in a game of the Kara Khan, or rather, I play against the Kara Khan. And against the Kara Khan, it's the Von Hennig Gambit. Very navally theme. Uh, Von Hennig was a German U boat captain and admiral. So I've got the white pieces E4, C6. Kara Khan, take the full center if you can. They now play sort of the main line, looking at undermining my center. That's fine. Knight out. They take main line. But now we deviate. A bishop to c4. It's technically not that good a move, but in practice, it's potentially pretty good, as we will see. This is, of course, looking at the f7 square. We potentially give up that pawn. They now, of course, try to hold on to that pawn with knight to f6. Very normal. And we now push f3 takes and we take back with the knight and that pawn went on a merry ride evaporated like it didn't exist and so so for that one pawn we now have substantial advantage in development and here a very common move black tries to slow us down by pitting our knight against the queen but this doesn't work because now we have the oh no my queen trap with knight to e5. It's a trap! Black can't take the queen because if they take we have that pattern we saw in a quick wins just one week ago. That cross pattern available when black has not moved their e-pawn. Now here, black knew there was something up with the oh no my queen, and so they thought a little while, have a look at the clock, and after, you know, a little bit over a couple, uh, a minute, almost a couple of minutes, they realize they cannot take my queen. That's fine, I take, they take, I now short castles, and here on move nine, I'm well developed, uh, and I'm pretty happy. While black has, you know, one developed piece for sure, but awkward doubled e-pawns. This knight doesn't have anywhere particular to go. This bishop is a bit hemmed in. What are, what are their rooks going to do? We're looking good. And so in this position, I'm about, oh, where are we? About plus 1.5. Uh, we're down one point of material, which means our position is substantially better than black's. And basically, this is the goal of the Von Hennig Gambit. There was a chance for an early opening checkmate, but even if black sidesteps that, we end up with a nice advantage in the opening, and basically we uh, often can maintain that advantage into the middle game and the end game. And that's basically what happens in this game. So here, they try to develop the queen, try to do something. That was a mistake, plus 3.5 actually. Uh, now here, I decide to maybe trade a knight. That wasn't necessary according to Stockfish. They develop, that's fine. Bishop out, attacking your queen, winning some tempo. There we go. Knight here, attacking and defending. Not the most accurate moves, but I'm still basically ahead. That's fine. Defend. They decide to long castles. So opposite side castling is a bold move when they've already pushed a pawn and also a head on development. Uh, I now attack the queen. And you can see none of my moves are all that accurate. And yet nonetheless, I maintain an advantage. Effectively, it's easier to play for white. They try to move the queen. That was a mistake. They're now all hemmed in. They need to rotate it around onto the king side where they potentially could have an attack. I now decide to move my queen, attacking that pawn, which is undefended. They try to attack, that's fine. I decide to take. Stockfish reckons that was better, that's fine. Takes, no, don't want to trade queens. And now I take that hanging pawn. I regain that point of material. Everything I've got is pretty much uh, defended. I'm pretty happy. Here, I wasn't expecting that. That looked like a mistake in the game, and it was. So I take back. All good. You can see that Stockfish actually sees this different attack because basically rook to c1 and basically if I take the pawn it's a potential mating net. Black may need to take back the pawn and then I've got another rook which of course now pins the queen to the king. Didn't see that strategy, that tactic in the, uh, in the actual game. They move the uh, queen out of the way, that's all right. I 
bring this bishop back uh, into this position. Potentially, you know, maybe there'd be something discovered. They push a pawn. They, I think black just wasn't sure what to play. You can see that was a mistake, basically because that waiting move means they lose a point of tempo. And in this position, it's about plus five. I wasn't too sure what to do. It wasn't the most accurate move. Move my knight. Takes, takes. Here, they try to attack the rook. That's fine. Move the rook. Come on, let's trade, because I want that queen to infiltrate onto d7. They took. I take back. Now here, black played rook f8. Kind of makes sense, I suppose, you know, attacking the f1 square. However, at the moment, it's sort of defended twice. I'm not too worried. But in doing that, they, you know, a cardinal sin. The first priority in chess is king defense. Because now, infiltration with the queen. Queen to d7 with check. Uh, and here... Um, we're pretty much close to getting a mating net. King moves to the wrong position. There is, in fact, a mating net now at high depth. I think there's a mate in 13, but the reality is it's not that difficult. I need to want to take care of that pawn, which means I need to dislodge the queen from that square. I thought a while. A4. Attack the queen. And basically, if they come here or take that pawn, I now get to take with check. That's what they did. They took that pawn, check, uh, king moves, bishop down to d2, check, queen to b uh, to b4, having to block the check. Now here, I actually miss a mate in one. Can you see the mate in one? This queen, of course, is pinned, which means queen to b. Uh, to b5 is mate. Now, I actually missed that in the game, and so, oh, queen is pinned, might as well just take, so I just took instead. That's still perfectly okay, still completely winning, because now I've got check, king moves, just have to make sure I don't do anything silly in terms of their sort of long, uh, long range pieces, but it looked like it was fine, so rook forward, check, king has to move forward, queen down, defending each other, check, king, now onto the back rank. And here, in this sort of block of three by three, it's useful to know a particular pattern. The pattern is a rook next to the king, and that is mate. Good game, GG. The big takeaway from this game is to consider the Von Hennig Gambit against the current Khan defense. It is very, very winning and very fun to play at the beginner intermediate level. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.